Boeing CST-100 Starliner spacecraft is on the brink of its first crewed mission to the International Space Station, and the countdown has officially begun. Two brave NASA astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, will strap into a cutting-edge spacecraft, hurtling through the atmosphere atop a powerful Atlas V rocket. Their destination? The International Space Station, where they'll make history as the first crew to fly aboard the Starliner. What's up, spacers? This is your specialist, the Space Technician. And this coming launch isn't just another routine space flight. The Crew Flight Test, or CFT, is a critical milestone in NASA's commercial crew program, which aims to revolutionize the way we send astronauts to space. The success of this mission could pave the way for a new era of commercial spaceflight, opening up countless opportunities for scientific research, technological innovation, and even space tourism. So, let's get into the details. Remember, strapping in is optional, but recommended. Boeing's path to launching astronauts hasn't been a smooth ride. The company has faced numerous challenges and setbacks since the Starliner's first orbital flight test in December 2019. That mission, unfortunately, didn't go as planned, with the spacecraft failing to reach the ISS due to software issues. Boeing had to go back to the drawing board, fix the problems, and prove that the Starliner was ready for another attempt. Fast forward to May 2022, and the Starliner finally got its chance to shine during the second orbital flight test, or OFT-2. This time, the spacecraft successfully docked with the ISS and returned safely to Earth, paving the way for the next big step, the Crew Flight Test, or CFT. So, what exactly is the Crew Flight Test? It's a critical milestone in NASA's commercial crew program, which aims to restore America's ability to launch astronauts from U.S. soil. During CFT, two NASA astronauts, Barry Butch Wilmore and Sunita Suni Williams, will fly aboard the Starliner to the ISS, marking the first time the spacecraft will carry humans. Mark your calendars, spacers, because the mission is currently targeted for May 6, 2024, at precisely 10.34 p.m. Eastern Time. The Starliner spacecraft will thunder into the night sky atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The launch will take place at the iconic Space Launch Complex 41, at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. As we speak, a dedicated team of engineers, technicians, and support staff from Boeing and ULA have been working tirelessly to ensure that the Starliner and Atlas V are in tip-top shape. On April 16, the spacecraft made a momentous six-mile trek from Boeing's state-of-the-art factory to ULA's vertical integration facility. There, in a delicate and precise operation, the Starliner was hoisted by a powerful crane and carefully lowered onto the waiting Atlas V rocket. The mating of these two engineering marvels marked a significant milestone in the lead-up to the crew flight test, forming a 172-foot-tall stack of pure space awesomeness. But before the Starliner can be given the green light for launch, there's one more crucial step in the pre-launch checklist the integrated systems test. This comprehensive evaluation is like a full-body scan for the spacecraft and rocket, ensuring that every electrical system, from the avionics to the communications equipment, is functioning flawlessly. Teams of experts will pour over the data, checking and double-checking every component until they're satisfied that the Starliner is ready for its mission. Approximately 48 hours before the scheduled liftoff, the combined Starliner and Atlas V will make a slow, careful journey from the vertical integration facility to the launch pad at Space Launch Complex 41. This rollout is a sight to behold, as the towering rocket inches its way along the path, guided by a team of skilled professionals. Once at the launch pad, Final preparations for the mission will kick into high gear. Technicians will busily fuel the Atlas V with liquid oxygen and rocket-grade kerosene, pumping thousands of gallons of propellant into the rocket's tanks. Meanwhile, Wilmore and Williams will arrive at the launch site, 
suited up in their custom-made spacesuits, ready to climb aboard the Starliner and strap in. Let's take a moment to meet the brave astronauts who will be piloting the Starliner during CFT. Butch Wilmore, the mission commander, is a retired U.S. Navy captain and spaceflight veteran, having previously flown to the ISS twice. Suni Williams, the pilot, is also a retired Navy captain and a seasoned astronaut with two space missions under her belt, including a long-duration stay aboard the orbiting laboratory. These experienced astronauts have been training extensively for the CFT mission, familiarizing themselves with the Starliner systems and procedures. They'll put their skills to the test during the flight, monitoring the spacecraft's performance and taking manual control if necessary. So, why is the crew flight test such a big deal? Well, a successful mission would validate the safety and reliability of the Starliner spacecraft, demonstrating its ability to transport astronauts to and from the ISS effectively. The implications of a successful CFT are far-reaching. It would signify a major step forward in NASA's commercial crew program, which aims to establish a robust commercial spaceflight industry capable of ferrying astronauts to the ISS. By having both Boeing's Starliner and SpaceX's Crew Dragon operational, NASA would gain redundancy and flexibility in crew transportation, ensuring a continuous U.S. presence on the orbiting laboratory. Moreover, a successful CFT would pave the way for regular long-duration crew rotation missions to the ISS. This would enable NASA to maximize the scientific output of the station, as well as focus on more ambitious goals, like sending humans back to the moon and eventually to Mars. Beyond NASA, a successful crew flight test would be a significant boost for the commercial spaceflight industry as a whole. It would showcase the ability of private companies to design, build, and operate crewed spacecraft, opening up new possibilities such as space tourism, private research missions, and even commercial space stations. Beyond CFT, Boeing has big plans for the Starliner. The spacecraft is designed to carry up to four astronauts and 220 pounds of cargo to the ISS, providing a reliable and efficient means of transportation for both crew and critical scientific research. As NASA looks to expand human presence in low Earth orbit and beyond, the Starliner will play a crucial role in supporting these ambitious goals. The spacecraft's success could also open up new opportunities for commercial spaceflight, such as space tourism and private research missions. Despite all these things to look forward to, we can't deny the problems that Boeing has had recently. It's important to acknowledge the concerns some may have about the company's recent failures in the aviation industry. The company has faced scrutiny over the 737 MAX incidents and the subsequent groundings, which have raised questions about Boeing's safety practices and quality control processes. These concerns have led some to worry about the potential impact on Boeing's space programs, including the Starliner. It's crucial for Boeing to demonstrate that the lessons learned from the 737 MAX issues have been applied across the company and that the Starliner has undergone rigorous testing and safety checks to ensure its reliability. Despite these challenges, the upcoming crew flight test remains a significant milestone for both Boeing and NASA. Let's just hope that the Starliner's hatch doesn't open mid-flight. So, mark your calendar for May 6th and join me as we cheer on the Starliner and its courageous, very courageous, crew. The future of spaceflight is looking brighter than ever, and we can't wait to see what amazing discoveries and adventures lie ahead. That's all for now, space fans. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I want to know, do you think the hatch will open? This is the Space Technician, signing off for now. And I'll see you, space cowboys, in the next one.